So as they're leaving, it's Lot and his two daughters, and then they leave Zoar and go up further into the mountain into a cave, and you get this story of Lot's two daughters getting him drunk, doing and... something very foolish. Yeah. And there are a lot of questions that a lot of people over a lot of years have asked regarding this story of why is it in the Bible? It is so it, – it's so far out there. It's so strange to us. Keep in mind, this is a Hebrew record. This is a record that is beloved, um, this, this Old Testament. We call it the Old Testament, but the Jews, they call it the, the Tanakh. It's, it's got the Torah, these first five books of Moses, and then teachings of the prophets, and then the wisdom literature in there. It's their Bible, and it's telling their story, and those Israelite people have some known enemies, the, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Philistines at different stages. To them, they're saying, this explains two of our enemies, the Moabites, and the Ammonites, this is where they come from. You could imagine the ancient Israelites sitting around the campfire, most people are literate, and they're having the scriptures read to them. They're like, oh, yeah, 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 tell us the story about where did our enemies come from. Oh, well, let's tell that story. That's a crazy story. And what culture doesn't have stories about their enemies that make their enemies seem like they've come from pretty bad origins? This is quite common throughout human history, and it just happens to get preserved here because not only is the scripture, it also is the national literature of the ancient Israelites, and it was their story. Right. And if we'd actually go back and get to interview the Moabites and Ammonites, they might say, actually, the details are wrong because we got the records and <laughs> – We don't know. We don't have – what we've got is what comes to us in the Bible, and it, and it feels very strange. But keep in mind, just as a side note in passing, the Moabites – um, there is one Moabites that is very significant in our story coming up in the future, and her name is Ruth. She's actually going to become the wife of Boaz, an Israelite, and from them you're going to get David through Jesse and then down the line to Jesus. So the Savior's own, own genealogy chart um, contains Ruth, yeah. a Moabite.